Hello, I'm Antonis from Soundfellas. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily build a medieval village soundscape using Ecotopia Soundscape Designer and sound effects from across our libraries. Alright, I have already loaded my scene with the village. Before getting into it, let's take a few moments to think about the design a bit and spot a few points of interest on the map to know where to place our areas. Okay, so I see a fountain with people here. I see a small well here and a few buildings all around the map. I think I'm going to turn this one into a blacksmith and the bigger one here into an inn. So let's get started with the fountain and people. I'm going to go ahead and create an area and I'm going to name it fountain with people. I'm going to leave the shape as is, a circle. I'm going to turn the fade zone on and I'm going to click OK. There's our area over here. Let me position it over the fountain here. Now I'm going to expand it because I want to cover quite a bit of the map, almost all of it, here. Make the maze zone bigger too, like so. Maybe extend it even further, like that. And now let's add some sounds. I'm going to go to loopers here. I'm going to name this one people and I'm going to go to file add. I'm going to navigate to our ambience kits. I'll go to medieval towns and villages. Go to elements. I'm going to use the search function and look for a crowd. Here we go. Let's listen to a few. I think this one fits the best. So, in it goes and click Add. Let me tweak the volume a little bit. I'm not gonna mess with the pitch right now. And click OK. That's one down. Let's add another looper. And I'm going to call this one Fountain. I'm going to go to Add, navigate to our ambient kits again. Go to Medieval Towns and Villages once more. Go to Elements. And this time I'm going to look for a stream. Let's see what we have. A bit too strong. Close. Very good. This will do just fine. Add it there. Tweak the volume again just a bit. And this time I'm going to tweak the pitch a little bit as well to make it sound a bit thinner, a bit more like a fountain and less like a stream. So click on pitch here. And let's say we want it six semitones up. Click OK. And we're set. Now for acoustics. I want to add some reverberation. So I'm going to go here to acoustics, reverberation. Click add. I'm going to navigate into our ambient kits again because all of our ambient kits contain space simple responses. We'll go to medieval time surveillance again. This time we'll go to IR's spaces stereo. And I want something that has a bit of an echo, a bit of a slapback. So I'm going to go with either Grove or Town Square. I think Grove is better. It's a bit more subtle. So I'm going to add it here. Click Add. And let's have it at maximum intensity. Let's go ahead and preview our area, see how it sounds. Pretty good. I'm not going to use any occlusion IRs because the area is exterior. I don't want to use any. All right. Now that I have created this area, I'm going to use the exact same process and create the rest of them. So I'm going to skip ahead and I will explain what I've done. Okay. I've created all of my areas. Let's see what we have. This one here is the blacksmith. 
I made it just big enough to cover this small building on the map and I haven't used the fade zone. For sounds, I have picked the Smithy Truth the audio loop from medieval towns and villages. It's just what we need for the occasion. I'm not using any reverb impulse response because our Truth the audio scenes already have their own reverb baked in. For occlusion, I have picked Cobb from the same library. Moving on now, this is the in. Again, I have deactivated the fade zone. And for sounds, I have picked the Truth the audio scene loop aptly named in. Again, from medieval towns and villages. Similarly, I'm not using any extra reverberation. And for occlusion, I went with wood. And last but not least, the well. I left the fade zone on for this one. Now, I couldn't help myself and I spiced it up a bit. So it's not your ordinary well anymore. I'll show you in a bit. Let's look at the more normal stuff first. I wanted some constant water splashing. So I created the looper. And I used this loop from medieval towns and villages elements. Water pier 2. I have adjusted the volume. I'm not messing with the pitch and the randomizer and some water dripping I picked both from the same ambient kits elements and threw in some more water drops from the thunder, rain and water drops part of the sound library. I've adjusted the volume range here. I've also activated the pitch and I want them to play often so I've set the trigger range to be pretty small. For reverb I went with the Museum Impulse Response from a public establishment's ambience kit. I'm trying not to let the medieval towns and villages monopolize the video, although it totally could. And also I want to show you the synergy among all of our libraries. As for the occlusion, I went with something a bit more drastic and I chose stone. Now, as for the not as normal stuff, I have another looper here, the Dark Wind, for which I've used a simple noise print from the Office and Workplaces ambience kit. which I have pitched way down to make it sound darker. Maybe there's a complex of tunnels and caves underneath the village. Who knows? Finally, for some extra spookiness, I've added the randomizer, this one here, from the depths, where I've used a bunch of big groans and snorts taken from medieval towns and villages elements. And guess what I've done? I pitched them all the way down. Maybe something lurks beneath the village. Maybe the villagers know. Maybe they don't. Okay, let's hear how the area sounds. Okay, now... I also want some sounds to be playing all the time, regardless of where I place the observer. For this purpose, I'm using the global areas, and in particular, always an occluded, because I want the sounds to be dampened if the observer enters an area with occlusion. So I have created a few randomizers here, one with birds, which I've taken from the elements of the City Parks and Gardens Ambience Kit, I tweak the parameters a bit, the volume range, the pitch, and the triggers. I've also added the cow. Some basic tweaking of the parameters here. And some dogs. Both the cows and the dogs I've taken from the medieval towns and villages ambience kit elements. Some basic tweaking here. And for reverberation, I have chosen the park open space, which comes from the City Parks and Gardens ambience kit. We may not be able to see all those on our screen, but adding things that we did not see in a soundscape and insinuating their existence is something that is done often in film, television and video games, and it really helps bring the soundscape to life. Okay, all set. Now I will go into live mode and take a virtual walk around the village. From this tab here, we can select which scene of this project we want to use. 
and to place the observer in the begin, I need to double click on the map. So let's start from near the fountain. Let's move away. And a bit further away. Let's pay a visit to the blacksmith. Notice how we can still hear the muffled sounds coming from outside. Let's move back out. And let's go to the inn for a mug of ale. Let's move back out again. Let's approach the well. And dive in. And done! There we go, our very own medieval village, with a spooky little twist. I hope you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, leave a comment with what other scenes you'd like to see, and subscribe to get updates on new videos for Ecotopia, sound libraries, and more. See you in the next one!